Shabam. In the young. Yeah, S and a H and a A double B and a A R A can A S. Always the best. What's good, Super Nation? What's good, everybody out there? So, today, <clears throat> we have a reaction to do, and it's Mass Effect's Andromeda. So, uh, my, my friend Bronze Griff09 told me to check out his video, um, see what I think. So, you know, he, he told me some stuff about, um, you know, Mass Effect's Andromeda. But he told me to just watch it, do a reaction video on it, and see what you think. So, that's what I'm going to do. And remember to check out his channel. He has a ton of good, interesting videos, topics, and stuff about, you know, gaming. He's like the gaming guru. So, um, let's see. And click. Nutility. Damn, that was a headshot. Scouter a bit. Welcome to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In Mass Effect Andromeda, you are the Pathfinder, the ultimate adventurer in a vast, unexplored galaxy on a mission to find a new home for humanity. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? Our first video will take a look at weapons and skills. That's a Andromeda's big action is built around fluid, fast-paced third-person combat. Our combat offers amazing freedom of movement with the use of a jump jet that allows you to jump evade, and even hover while you're fighting. You'll also notice a new dynamic cover yeah, system that allows that you to cool. seamlessly use almost anything, including your own vehicle, for cover. All this pretty freedom good. allows you to approach the battle in a way that suits your gameplay style. Oh, shit. Let's take a closer look at our weapons. In Mass Effect Andromeda, there are four categories of guns. Pistols, mm -hmm. shotguns, yeah. and sniper and assault of course. rifles. Plus a range of melee weapons for up-close combat. All guns Isn't the Omniblade supposed to be the only there weapon no you're supposed to have a melee weapon? So if you decide you want to try something new, it's as easy as switching your loadout. Okay, that's... Guns and gear in Andromeda fall into three the technology arsenal. types based on where the tech comes from. Milky Way weapons typically use physical projectile ammunition that's similar to the types of weapons you might be familiar with from our original games. With some advancements, of course. I mean, it has the feel of Mass Effect, but something else. Based guns. They're great against most non-shielded targets, but require you to keep an eye on your ammo. Like this, something else is Remy really affecting the game. It's, have a high rate of fire, it, and it's basically accurate. like a Call of Duty Advanced the Warfare. You don't rely on ammo. With so never run out of ammo, but you'll have to wait for your gun to cool down from time to time. In my in my opinion, Helios weapons are technology from civilizations that live in the Helios cluster of Andromeda. They are generally plasma-based, which means they are slower speed that benefit from heat-seeking technology. While some are charge based, the longer you charge yeah, them before releasing, cool. the harder they hit. Shield. Melee weapons vary in both damage and speed. Hard hitting hammers do maximum damage. Oh, the lightning fast shit. swords allow you to get in and out of harm's way with maximum speed and precision. Mm. In addition to weapons, you can also develop skills, skills and abilities. Class. Like the weapons, there are no restrictions on what skills you can choose. What the Each hell? Three main categories that female facilitate a certain style looks freaking fight. weird. Combat skills are great if you Look want to focus mouth. on weapons, gear, and making your character it's like the all ultimate soldier. They're like freaking Joker. These skills focus on improving <laughs> weapon damage and accuracy, as well as giving well, you the ability to use flat pain, cannons, but still, you get, you get idea. grenades, trip mines, and more. Tech skills allow you to equip your Pathfinder with more experimental weaponry, or focus on strategic improvements for you and your squad. Cryo Beam and Flamethrower give you more offensive punch. While skills like Invasion or Energy Drain weaken your opponents and make them easier to take down. Want a little extra help? Deploy your own assault turret. Last but not least, Biotics. By controlling dark energy, your Pathfinder can harness dark the power energy. of mass and gravity. Biotic skills like pull and throw allow you to literally control the battlefield, the using hell? enemies as a shield or even a weapon. Abilities like Annihilation Shield or Singularity can disrupt and damage anything or anyone caught up in their powerful grip. Each skill can be upgraded to become increasingly more devastating and effective. Each also has choices to make when upgrading, offering you more ways to customize your playstyle. Mm. Now that we have the basics down, let's put this into action. In this case, our Pathfinder is equipped with a sniper rifle and a shotgun, and they've got their three powers selected. Oh, shit. You'll notice that different enemies each behave in unique ways. Some will keep their distance and try to snipe us. Others will charge right in and try to flush us out of cover. Shit. Sticky Grenades is an advanced version of the Omni Grenade combat skill. 
They're effective against just about anything, but they have a limited supply. Enemies each have different strengths and weaknesses. For most, headshots inflict maximum damage, but you'll need to pay attention to their health bars. That's a Yellow means they've got armor and won't be as susceptible to certain weapons and powers. Blue means they're shielded, and in addition to being more resistant to biotics, you'll generally need to deal with those shields before their health goes down. And just like you, their shields will recharge if you Sorry don't finish them off flu. quickly. Tactical Cloak is a tech skill that allows you to evade enemy detection and inflict increased damage when attacking from Cloak. And finally, Overload. Another tech skill that's great for taking out enemy shields and synthetic enemies. By holding it before releasing, you can even chain it to multiple enemies. And this is just one of the hundreds of combinations of weapons and skills you can try in Andromeda. They need to release a demo though, you know. Stay tuned for future installments where we'll show you our profiles to give you an added boost in combat, favorites which allow you immediate access to your sets of power so you can change up on the fly, and squad skills and commands. Take cover! Take cover! Now that move looks exactly like um, from um, what's that game? Um, Halo, where the guy um, goes up near and smashes the ground. Yeah, it looks just like that. So um, I had to pause the video for a while. I was um, sneezing and stuff. So yeah. So um, let's talk about that. Um, the game looks pretty good. Um, the gameplay is different is not to me it doesn't look like you need any strategy at all It just looks like you just need to just bust in like freaking Call of Duty shoot everything throw plasma grenades Omni blade some bitch and that's it, but in the Mass Effects game You have to strategize everything you do from weaponry to abilities to even team-ups Everything you do has to be strategized. That's that's what makes the game challenging and entertaining. You have to use your mind. But now, you know, it looks like you just have to be like, you know, shoot everything, blow up everything like that. Like, come on, where's the strategy? Um, I'm not saying that you don't feel the Mass Effects. Like, you don't feel a part of the, the huge Mass Effects feel. But the other feel is like, Picture Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, or Black Ops 3, or Infinite Warfare, with futuristic shit, but in third person. That's what a game looks like to me. So, even um, Bronze Griff was telling me this, so I was like, you know what, let me check out the video, let me see it for myself. And he's basically right. Uh, I'm not saying that the game is bad, I'm saying that um, don't pre-order it yet. You know, let just watch, just watch some um, reviews, some gameplays, and get it. You know, if they release a demo, that'll be a huge help. If you like the game, you buy it. Release a demo, let people play it. If you like it, you buy it. Um, I don't, I don't know the plot yet in this game, so I don't really. I mean, Bioware tells some very good story. Come on, but I don't know the plot. I the gameplay looks good. The gameplay looks solid. The only part that you know kind of you know had me like um, was like um, the combat system. It looks like you don't need nobody to help you. It looks like you just run in there and start shooting up the place like COD and just waste everybody with plasma grenades and freaking Omni Shield and you know the, the the holographic shield and all that type of shit. So I'm like, but anyway. I mean, the game looks good. I'm not gonna say it's uh, it's bad. I'm saying um, just don't pre don't pre order yet. Don't pre order the game yet. Just wait. So um, you know, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction, hit the like button. Post your comments. Tell me what you think about uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. What do you think about my opinions? Is it good? Is it bad? Post in the comment section. Also share this video with your friends so we all can get inside a conversation of talking about Mass Effect Andromeda. Also check also hit that subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it. Once you hit that subscribe button, you become a super nation. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for more surround videos. Peace!